Yeah, hi. So today we're going to be having a look at specific gravity. So my one of my previous trips down the South Island we were talking about specific gravity and I got a little bit confused there. You know, the old where <laughs> brain doesn't sometimes uh, play the game as it should be. So we're going to have a look at what specific gravity is of some of the rocks. So I've got, got a few rocks down over here. And a few rocks down here. So I've already got cotton hide on them. on them to make it easier. Yeah, so what we've got is we've got a set of scales. So these weigh up to half kilo. And I've also got a set of um, calibration weights. Turn our scales on, put a 20, 20 gram weight on, and that comes up as 20 grams. And then we'll put the 1 gram weight on. There we go, I'll take one gram, put the one gram weight on. And that comes up as 1.10 10 gram weight, sorry. I put my glasses on, eh, to see. So that's a 10 gram weight, 10.00. Okay, so my scales are calibrated. So that we know that they're all good to go. So, I've got bits and pieces we'll get to shortly. So, checking on the internet, we found that nephrite jade is, has a specific gravity. So, nephrite jade has a specific gravity of 2.9 to 3.02. So that's the ratio that we'll get to shortly on how to calculate what that is on the on the density. Um, another stone that we get quite regularly here in New Zealand is bowenite. Pen's running out. So bowenite is 2.58 to 2.62. Run out and then good old serpentine. Serpentine has a specific gravity of 2.2 to 2.90. So there's that borderline between serp and nephrite at that 2.9 mark. So last time when I did this, I didn't actually record it. The rock that I was testing came up at 2.8. So I'll see if I can find it again because I, I haven't been able to relocate it. Same. But we've got a whole pile here anyway, so we'll run through it and see what we've got. So what we do is we weigh, weigh the rock. So we get the rock. We weigh it because what we're looking for is the specific gravity or the density of the rock. So normally you measure specific gravity in a liquid with a hydrometer. Um, we did that with when we were in the milking, in the milk, in the honey. When you're doing honey, you use this, this hydrometer to measure what the different honey types were. Um, but in rocks, since you can't put a hydrometer into something solid, we use another formulation which Mass divided by volume equals density. So what we do is we measure the mass of the rock in grams. Then we suspend it in water. And we measure the displacement 
mass of the water. So because water has a density of 1, or it's a unity of 1, so 1 gram of water measurement is the same as 1 cubic centimetre of water. So we're looking for the, the volume of the rock, which is equivalent to the gram of water displacement. So it makes the calculations pretty easy. So, so we'll measure the measure the rock. So here we go. So here's the this piece of rock here. To my thing back on me talking too much, it's clipped off. So we'll measure the, the weight of the rock. The weight of the rock here is so that's rock number one. 44.84 grams. 44.84 grams. Then what we do is we put some water in a container. And then we tear it off. Here we go. That's zero on there. I know this is a piece of serpentine, this bit. So we'll just put that in the water to splash the water. So the idea is to have it fully covered without touching anything. Trying to hold it under the water while 17.5. So that's 17.5. Okay, so the, the mass of the rock was. 44.84 grams. The mass of the displacement in cubic centimetres was 17.5 cubic centimetres or 17.5 grams. So we divide the mass by the volume. I'll calculate it here. So it comes to 2.5. 5, 6. Right, there we go. 2.56, 2, 2, so 2.5623. 2.56. So 2.56 falls with um set. Okay, the second one we're going to do is this this piece of this here was given to me as Panami. So we'll just go and see if it is. So we'll do a measurement on number two, which is 65.94. Put our water back on, tear it off. Get it straight, level. Fully. Submerged without touching anything. 
Okay, so that one there. Comes out at 3.013. So that is Honamu. So this one here, definitely Panamo with a right up down here, 3.01. So that's that one's Panamo, and this one here is Serpentine. So now we've got one of each. Let's go back and see what some of this other stuff is. So we've got a unknown green rook. Well, we're calling it unknown. Level. So here we go. We've got another piece here. Yeah. Turn it on. It's zeroed. So the mass of that is 25.54 foot. Item number three. So 25.54. We'll put our water on and tear it. And that is zeroed. Do our displacement. There we go. And that is. I'm going to change the container, get another. Okay, so I'm going to change the container over. So the smaller ones will fit in. I've got this one for the bigger ones. It's easily submersed in the water. Ten point three. So we call that one ten point three. Point 2.48 which makes it in the range of serpentine so that one there is a serpentine Yeah, so we'll come up to our fourth stone. This one here. Um, I sort of sort of know what it is, so we'll see what it is, eh? So we'll just find the mess of this one. That tear that back to zero. The weight of the stone is I've got to read it. 63.09. Here our water. So it's zero. Twenty-five point 
21.09 so we go 63.09 divided by 21.09 equals 2.99 so 2.99 just puts it over into the nephrite bracket only just so probably call it semi nephrite as well so we've got the nephrite so what else shall we try we'll try this one this one here Here. So this one, let's have a read, 27.99. There we go, so that'll be 27.99. So we'll put the water back on, tear it. That's zero. It's fully submerged. Eleven point two. So look at the, look at the colouring on that. So that one's 11.2. Let's see what this comes out is 27.99 divided by 11.2 equals 2.499, 2.5. So 2.5 is once again in the soup range. Even though it was some really nice colours and the soup range. So there we have it. So that's how we do our specific gravity testing. So pretty simple. You just get a little calculator, a uh, scale, sorry, the, the scales preferably to two decimal places but you can use the one decimal place to the single point one of a gram so you find the mass of your rock the weight of your rock in grams you find the displacement in cubic centimetres of the rock and water by measuring the displacement of the water in grams because water has a unity of one that so one gram of water equals one cubic centimetre so you divide the weight of the rock by the displaced weight to give you your specific gravity so easy as and as you see I've got some soup and I've got some nephrite jade so it's probably the best way to tell what you've got by doing a simple specific specific gravity test so thanks for watching catch you on our next one remember to like and subscribe and we'll be back into our adventures in upcoming videos so Catch you later. Go keep it.